hello everyone welcome back to my channel um today i want to give you a setup and a um, flip of my current planner um a lot has changed since i last did a video um as far as kids and the way i plan and what i'm currently planning in um i've been up in a b6 since i want to say after thanksgiving um, I started with the theology and realized that wasn't exactly what I wanted. Um, and then I went to the Wonderland 222. Um, loved that for a long time, but until the binding started coming apart on the book. Um, so I hated it. <laughs> and I um, seen one of my planner friends um, with this Franklin Covey compact um, B6 book and um, I was talking to another friend Nikki about it and um, we were talking about it and she was like okay we should you know we should try it and because she was having the same issues with her Wonderland um, the spine coming apart the more you write the more the spine came apart and don't know if I got time for that um, the paper everything else is nice but I have a, a, a VDS um, on order. I ordered it February the 5th. Um, it should be shipping this week. Um, so um, I'm going to move into that once that comes. But until then, I've been using different um, covers. Um, and I, I think that these co well, by these covers not being as expensive as like say for instance a Julio or a custom VDS um, you can have multiple of these um, Sojourner covers and not feel bad about it because maybe three of them are equal to one Julio so um, yeah so I'm going to show you my other covers I have in B6 um, from Sojourner well this is not from um, this one is my favorite. I recently just moved out of this one once I received this red one. Um, well, it's, the red is called Yale. Um, and this is another one. Um, I don't know why I bought this this one. I think to just try green. <laughs> try the green. Um, it's a very pretty green. The blue pocket is also pretty. Um, but the color, it's just not my color. Um, I tried it and it's good to have <laughs> but yeah it's not my cup it's not my color um, I probably should do a giveaway on this I don't know I don't know I just been in a given mood for some reason lately um, I could try to get give everything away but anyways um, yeah so I just got this cover yesterday and it prompted me to want to do uh, a setup and to show you all how I have it set up. Um, so, since my last painting video, I left rings, inbound books, what else? I also left regular pens. I'm in two fountain pens now. Um, I have a ton, but this is the one that I'm currently using. It's the Twist Speed Draco, um, limited edition one. If you can see this or not, I'm sitting down and my camera's way up high. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, this is the current one I'm using um, by Twisby, and I have a blue ink in it currently. Um, and when I do write in pen, I don't use regular pens anymore. Well, I, when I write in my planners, I don't use regular pens. I'm gonna put it like that. Um, so I use um, this pen from Ferris Real Press. I love it. I never was a rollerball um, fan before until I got this pen. I think it's like a 0.7 nib. Um, and it's the best 0.7 nib I've ever wrote with it. It writes so smooth. Um, I love it. Um, yeah, so. Okay, I had to take a drink of my coffee, but um, yeah, so let's get into the planner itself because I don't have long um, before um, one of my babies wake up. Um, I've had two children since my last, well, no, I think my one-year-old was born, um, when I did my last video, 
but I just had um, a baby three weeks ago. Um, so if you hear him in the background crying, anything, the washing machine and dryer is going now, so you probably hear that. I'm doing the best I can with this just to get a video out because my background is going to sound like this probably for for the rest of my life. Um, so this is the quietest as I'm going to get. His dad um, got him right now, so I wanted to shoot out a video. Okay, so into this cover. I love touching this cover. It's amazing. Um, it feels so good. And it's, I love how I did this yesterday trying to move into it. So I, I like added this little scratch to it, but it's still... It's still beautiful. Um, I don't even know if I want to move out of this when my um <laughs> well I know once my videos come I essentially will, but this is a very pretty red. Um I didn't know that I like um it actually took me getting this red pen and I think I got a red wallet, which so I have a lot of different shades of red going on. So this is my red wallet. Um and you can tell that all of them are different shades. So this is my, this is the red um, planner, red wallet, red pen, and this red um, B6 Theology. All of them are different shades of red. Um, so, but the, the brightest one is my wallet. So I didn't want a planner as bright as this. This is too bright. Um, and this is the perfect, this yellow is the perfect color red. Um, I ordered another yellow cover um, for my A5 um, Sayology. So like I said, uh, my plan style has changed a lot um, since uh, my last two videos. And I, I typically just only plan in my B6, but sometimes I do like to see my stuff in two plans. <laughs> and I I use the the monthly and the weekly and my home energy because I don't use the dailies. Um, I sometimes use them for like um, pen tests, well not pen tests, ink tests. Um, when I'm changing my fountain pen ink just to see how um, the ink, you know, just see how it writes and how it dries before I write into my B6. Um, but other than that, I don't use the dailies in there. Um, okay, yeah, so let's get into the planner. Um, I went through and just put some sticky notes on two little sections in here that I didn't want to show. Um, so when you first open the planner up, you get your information page and you can just write your information there. Um, I take a sticky note off this now. Don't want that paper to get sticky. Um, next, we have the 2021-2022 calendar. And all I do is I just take um, a marker or a pen and I'll um, like scratch out the month that the past. Um, so you get your month account and you get your yearly here. This is what I was talking about. Like if the you get some things that's a Japanese font. Um, not fun writing, but that's fine. Um, next, you get right into the monthlies. Um, I didn't get this until February, so um, I didn't feel like back planning, so I just put um, sticky notes on certain things for the month of December. Um, sticky note on January, like I said, I didn't feel like back planning, I didn't get it until February, um, so that's when I really started planning in it. Um, I went from using um, one found, um, found pen ink to, like in this month, I used multiple <laughs> found pen inks. Um, so it pretty much is very, um, take a sticky note off that one. Um, so this is the current month, which is April. I just stuck some sterling ink stickers there and um, I use my monthlies for a variety of things. Like I said, this, this is my main and only planner. Um, I don't plan in no other size but B6. Even if you see me with a pocket planner, um, a personal planner, a personal wide planner, it's not for a plan. Um, it has different things in there, such as finances, um, home stuff, kids stuff. But I don't have to explain that to you. I'm just letting you know um, 
so if you see me with a planner i don't i don't change sizes um i used to but since i've been in b6 i haven't um so but i do have other planner sizes um that i keep so what I do for um, coming up months, I already have my baby weeks written down, like when he turned certain weeks. <laughs> um, but I just put sticky notes on each month um, because you know, things change and I hate scratching things out. So if I know something that's gonna happen um, in June, I put on a sticky note and then once June come, I add it to the monthly. So each month um, I have a sticky note um, for when things come up. Like I said, the whole year I went ahead and put all my baby months down. Um, yeah, so I think I want to write Christmas here. <laughs> Even though I know Christmas in December, I, I like to see it. So I just write any kind of way on my sticky notes. Don't be looking for my cute handwriting. <laughs> um, I write any kind of way when I'm writing on sticky notes. On like sticky notes like this. <laughs> um, so after the monthly, you go right into um, future planning. But I crossed out 2022 future planning, and I put 2021 daily spending. And I just highlighted it, and then I use this to keep up with my planner spending this is all planner related spending nothing else um and like if it's something like right here if it's an order that i canceled oh, i hate i messed it right there but if it's an order that's been canceled um i'll just cross it out so that way i know once i go in each month to add up how much i spent that month um I won't, I won't add that. So it'll go here, but I haven't had the time to pull out my calculator and go through and um, calculate this up. Next time I do a flip, um, it's April, May, June. I probably do another flip June. Yeah, once I fill this up and then um, I'll show you like how it looks at the top. Or I'll probably just post it on my Instagram if I don't do get a chance for another flip because it seems like I'm only pushing out flips once a year. Um, since I only did one last year. So yeah, this is my 2021 daily spending planner related. Um, no, nothing, you know, home related. Everything's planner related. Um, and then you get the rest of the year here. Um, once I get to July, that's when I cross this out and I'll put um, 2021 um, daily spending up there as well. Um, so next we get right into the weeklies. It wastes no time. Um, I only did one back plan day. No, 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 no. Let me stop lying. Um, I only did one for December back plan day. Um, and I wrote with this pen. Um because I want to see um, how I wrote, um, I do plan on going back and fill out one, two, so it's three days. So I probably do pull out my Wonderland two, 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 and fill in these old days. Because I did for this one. Well, I didn't put it all. I just wanted something there. Um, so I probably do it for these three days as well. So. I didn't get, like I said, I didn't get the planner until February, but I did, um, I start, I technically started back then in January, um, the first with my fountain pen, um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna give you a flip of everything, but yeah, so I love daily planning, um, I always love to look at times and to-dos, um, and this is, perfect for that um and then like all my days aren't full of things to do um so let me show you what i mean about with the japanese um language this is in japanese this um you have some words in japanese 
but I pretty much just use it what, whatever I feel like using it for. So for this particular week, um, I always write my weeks up here. And for this particular week, well, you know, it says weekly tasks here. So I just put weekly tasks, check it off. Um, and then you got your prioritized daily task list here. Activities up on the activity section on Monday through Friday. That's where I put my son's school schedule, um, like things he got to do for school. As we go on, you'll see. Um, but yeah, so I had to show you a week that has something um, up top. So you see, I use different inks um, in my pen. This is like a red ink. Um, I use pretty much whatever ink I feel like. Some, some days you'll see probably three inks <laughs> used in one day because I change my ink often. Um, but I love looking back at my dailies. This this boot ink was pretty. I don't. And when people a lot when people ask me what color ink I use, I I don't even be knowing. Um, <laughs> because a lot of times I buy sample inks. Um, like this, I have two samples I still need to try. And I'll fill my pen with the ink. And I put it in um, my ink container where I have a, a thousand more sample inks. And I don't, I don't be remembering which one it was that I used. Um, so I pretty much buy a lot of sample inks. Um, but when, if it's ones that I hadn't tried yet, I leave those out until I get ready to try them. Um, and then that's when they go into the ink thing. But I rarely buy ink bottles. Um, I, I have this ink bottle. Like sometimes it, it has to be like a cute bottle for me to buy it. So you see, I have this one, and I'm gonna show you two. And I have a couple of the Ferris, Ferris wheel press inks. So it pretty much. I don't think I was in frame with that last one. Let's see. Yeah. So it pretty much has to be a, a cute ink bottle. For me to even consider buying it but nine times out of ten i'm buying sample inks um because I, I change my ink so much and i prefer that to have the sample um yeah so let me hurry up and get to this flip because my son is cutting up trying to cut up better um so this is february where am i gonna get into march Oh, so I can show you right here, like how um, I use the, this activities for my son's schedule. And then I just use um, like my prioritized daily list. Me, it's like the main things that I'm doing that day that needs to be top of my list. I put it up there, but that's just showing you like how I use the activities um, for my son's stuff. So I gradually use stickers. That's another Sterling sticker. Um, and you see how my font changed it went to a dark green to a lighter green. Um, and then it completely went to the, yeah, the lighter green um, sticker here. I rarely use stickers, but when I do, I love the, um, the Sterling ink stickers. I do use a lot of sticky notes. I did not like this ink. <laughs> um, I don't even know what ink it was, but I, I honestly don't like it. Okay, we're in March now. Um, because this is when I had my baby three weeks ago. So I put a picture of him there. Um, very Saturday. My one-year-old turned one. Um, Yes, I have. I do use sticky notes quite often. Um, my one-year-old guy's first haircut. I like this red ink and it looks good with this red primer. I don't know where the ink's from though. Maybe I need to start writing down. <laughs> which ink I'm, my pen currently has. And a lot of times I forget to go back and ch and check off my weekly task. Um, 
it got it got taken care of but i just forgot to go back <laughs> but yeah so we're coming to an end on this flip because i'm at easter um skip the page and you see how i went from one ink to this blue ink i actually like um this purple ink and i have a big bottle of that one i had to order a big bottle of that one because i really love that purple ink. but this blue ink is beautiful as well um yeah so this is today right we're right here um one thing i do do the week before is i'll go in and like this is next week so i'll go in and write down some weekly tasks if it's things that i already know that's occurring that week um and that's as far as i go nothing else is pre-planned if it is it's in my help me your cousin but yeah so this is today um and that's it on my flip as i'm ending the video um it won't have no sound um but i'm gonna go in and, and put something here and then i'm just gonna do my morning plan here so y'all can see like how i do that Oh, and I hope y'all have a great Sunday and enjoy the rest of your day.